remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NGN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. As the high cost of petroleum products continues to exert significant economic pressure on Nigerians, especially in the Niger Delta region, Elder Statesman and leader of Pan Niger Delta Forum, Pandev Chief Edwin Clark, has called on President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to heed the cries of ordinary Nigerians and consider some of his administration's policy in order to alleviate the growing poverty in the country. Chief Clark made this appeal last weekend when he received Niger Delta leaders and stakeholders, led by President of host communities of Nigeria producing oil and gas, Hoscom, High Chief Benjamin Tamaranebi, at his residence in Abuja. The removal of fuel subsidy by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's administration in May last year had a significant ripple effect on the cost of goods and services, triggering a cost of living crisis in the country. The purchasing power of ordinary Niger Deltans and other Nigerians continues to erode due to the ever-increasing inflation that followed. For instance, food inflation, which stood at 26.98% in July 2023, has now surged to 39.53%. This, along with other pressing issues, has led to widespread calls for a review of certain policies of the Tinubu government. Last week, elder statesman and leader of the Pan Niger Delta Forum, Chief Edwin Clark, hosted a delegation of leaders and stakeholders from the oil rich Niger Delta region, led by High Chief Benjamin Tamarani B, president of Host Communities of Nigeria Producing Oil and Gas, Hoscom, at his residence in Abuja. The delegation expressed concerns over the prevailing economic situation in the country. In his reaction, Chief Edwin Clark, while acknowledging the harsh economic conditions in the country, re-echoed the need for President Tinubu to listen to the yearnings of the masses and address their challenges. He also condemned the victimization and intimidation of aggrieved Nigerians who took to the street at the beginning of August to air their displeasure with the policies of the current administration. Imagine that where I come from, Niger Delta, where the oil flows through my backyard, the people are buying fuel for 2,000 Naira. Mr. President, you come back to this issue. It's not a question of uh, uh, threatening people, wanting to arrest people. This is not an offense to protest against your government. We have all been doing it. Just come now that they did it. I wonder what they did. I mean, the kind of did it. President, you come down to his people, reconcile with them, declare a state of uh, emergency on food. Speaking further, the nonagenarian cautioned that President Tinubu must adhere to the letters of his promises of ensuring better service delivery to the nation. I will continue to speak. I'm not against the government. We have elected him. He's our president. And we must support him. But he should not take Nigeria for a ride. Mr. President, talk about corruption, uh, anti-corruption practice. Why? These are things. Whoever is involved, Nigerians want to know. Deal with them. Instead of making Nigeria poorer and poorer. Earlier, the visiting leaders and stakeholders from the Niger Delta had highlighted the ongoing challenges surrounding the sale of crude oil to indigenous refineries in Nigeria and urged President Tinubu to firmly address the issue. With Nigerian refineries producing locally, the price of petroleum will reduce, which will ultimately reduce inflation and hardship in our country. The removal of the fuel subsidy was done in a hurry. The government should have put in place measures to ameliorate the negative effect of this subsidy removal. Inside the Niger Delta, 